Good morning, folks. Vanuatu finally decided to give us a break. Cold snap coming to the northeastern United States and a powerful space weather impact affects the readings. We're over at spaceweathernews.com and we're seeing a relatively calm earth-facing disk even if limb and far side activity can be seen rippling the corona. The brightest and most interesting area is coming in behind the coronal hole there, north of the equator. It is the reason we're finally seeing some modest C-class flaring as opposed to the solar doldrums. The size of a sunspot here is rare even for high activity periods, so it's a great test for the earth-facing quiet, especially since it is not alone. There are umbras coming in with him, could have delta-class magnetism. Back in 2011, we'd have been worried about M and X-class flares at this point, and in 2001, we'd have already seen them produced. Now begins 10 vital days for space weather enthusiasts as we watch a monster crest across the earth-facing disk. Of course, that's not all. If you follow Space Weather News or our Twitter, you know an interplanetary shockwave struck yesterday that wasn't so much about physical, kinetic change, but a magnetic one. The stream was dense, but looking in blue, that the angle of the solar wind, the magnetic character, was shifting. You often see CMEs corkscrewing through space, which means the particles are going a million different directions and the magnetism is going a million different directions within the same cloud itself, but all within one electromagnetic system. Here, that shifted and plasma poured into Earth systems. We had only a level 1 global storm, but Karuna is showing isolated events up to K8, which is the second highest disruption level that exists. Eyes open today for reports of communication, transportation, or other electrical glitches, surges, fires, or other events. Top articles today begin here. This is accretion speeds and particle densities within a galactic matter flow. And these scientists believe they figured out a pattern to star formation. Very cool article, interesting graphics, sort of high-level topical content and requires some background for full comprehension, but same goes for this one as well. A lot more fun of a subject matter here and an interesting read, searching for ET by looking for directed energy signatures in space. Super cool and it's sort of thing you could do from anywhere across the spans of your view. Also got a new release from Rosetta in the ESA. Turns out the dark skin is shedding on 67P as it heats up and more volatiles and especially water ice can now be seen lightening the surface of the comet. Something tells me she's not done giving gifts just yet. Folks, we're up at the stratosphere here seeing how the final polar vortex of the year has his eyes on the eastern United States. That is helping the earth spots drive frigid weather as they come through one after another. Please consider membership at suspiciousobservers.org if you haven't already. Hundreds of hours of material there already, with more added every few days. You'll be supporting these news, all our websites, and the Mobile Observatory Project. It's just four bucks a month. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the New Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.